What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum. Got another package, another lot. Um, I go th kind of through spells. Good lots, no lots, bad lots. Um, but I've been finding some lots lately, even though the last one was pretty nasty. It actually, um, the Pokemon stuff kind of saved it. So here's a lot today. This was called Sports Baseball Cards Unopened Packs. Um, didn't mention basketball in the title. I got it for $33.20 shipped. And really, there's only there's two basketball packs in there that I'm interested in. Um, one of them, well, you'll see them. They're both Skybox. So the odds of, you know, and, and I, I know this going in, the odds of getting the, the chase hits in these packs is slim to none. The packs themselves um, sell for, you know, pretty good money. But... Uh, I'm going to rip them, definitely. That's that's not a question. Um, I think the packs might have a little bit of damage, too, so I couldn't justify selling those to somebody else. But let's see what we have here. And who knows how this is going to smell. Somebody said that, you know, you should be opening these with gloves on after the last one, which is probably true. This one seems a little cleaner. At least there's not, like, mold showing. Um, all right, so we got that out of the way. Let's open up our Johnny Unitas tin here first. Um, I think this is just more for storage. Just, there's nothing new in this. Yeah, this <laughs> it's just playing cards. Um, so there we go. Sealed pack, right? Playing cards, which I'm not going to count them now. Um, you know, probably, who knows if that's even a complete set. If it is, uh, I guess a nice little bonus. I haven't played cards in forever. I need some Yankee friends to play Euchre with me. Nobody in Florida knows how to play Euchre. Okay. Um, here we go. Let's see what we got here. I see there's some Pacific stuff in here too. So we got double wrapped. This must be all of our packs. So I will reveal those in a few moments here. This will be our loose cards I don't think there's anything of substance in the loose cards from what I could see in the listing, but it's one of those things, you know, you can't always see everything, but based off of the, whatever this is on the top, 90 tops or whatever, I don't know, I used to get these at the dentist, like they would bundle these up, I'd get them at the dentist, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with these, just flip through them real quick, um, even, you know, like, some of the Griffey rookies, if it's not the upper deck rookie, I don't think there's even much value. And I don't even know if, if there's 89 stuff in here. I see some 88 stuff. Um, yeah, I'm see, I'm not super concerned about that. Just whatever. Those will go, who knows, we're not the trash, but a box that looks very similar to trash, most likely. And looks like we got more of that here. That's but these. This is not why I bought it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I will go through this quick because I you're not here to see Mark Davidson cards or bent Bob Melvin cards. Yeah. All right. So let's go through those quick. I'm not super concerned about that stuff. We do have some football pro set platinum. So I don't know my football as well. Okay, here we go. There's a upper deck. This is like McDonald's. Yeah, I was gonna say that doesn't look like the mainstream release. It's McDonald's, kind of beat up. Here's these are these are bent. Sosa. That might be, maybe not. No, that's ninety one. I'll have to look here. Chad Pennington, Barry Bonds base card. So that's actually one of the cleaner looking cards. Ray Lewis base. Derek Mason. All right, so we got some. There's a Griffey wish list. McGuire in a sleeve. Okay. Sorry. Figured I'd look at those while I had them out. All right, the good stuff. What do we have here? So this is a uh, Pacific 98. And that looks like it's got a Target sticker on it. So Pacific... Um, from my research, Pacific basically was um, allowed to enter the baseball market because they made Spanish cards. They made cards with Spanish on them. So 
Um, that was kind of how they made their way in. So you can see that 12 Tarhatus. That's 12 cards. And I didn't know there were two of the... Okay, here we go. So we've got... This is retail. And doesn't look like it's been opened. There is a very slim, slim chance. As you can see, one in 300 packs of a Noise Boys, which is why I will open it. There's always the chance of autographics. They put those across all the lines. This is retail. It's Series 1. That's... One of the main reasons why I bought this. This is the other one, although this maybe fell open. I don't think it's actually been looked through, though. Maybe they looked for parallels. Um, this would have starting five. This is still bricked enough that I don't think they would see a starting five or notice that. That is a super tough set. Dan and I talked about that on, a, on an episode at one point because they had a, a baseball equivalent as well. Um, 97 score. Baseball here is okay. Michael Jordan, uh, living legend, and look for a sign of greatness. Jordan autograph cards. So maybe those were actually live and not redemptions. I don't know. And then uh, ninety-seven Pinnacle Fan Fest. I'm not too. I'm not gonna open the baseball on camera. So let's start with the Jordan pack. Here we go. I guess I should be careful with these. Careful, enjoy it, take my time, right? See what we got here. Oh, there's some sticking. Okay. So, I'm going to try and do this carefully where I can break them apart without doing anything like putting it in the freezer or anything. Okay, so we have the Jordan versus the Raptors. Pretty cool. We've got the Elements of Style. Jordan, actually we have two cards here. The Elements of Style, great looking card. I think that's over, is that Kendall Gill that's there maybe? Here we've got an 89.90. These are all stuck together, but there's no real damage, thankfully. Here we go, this is the, is this the, no, this is not the comeback game. Because, well it says it there, United Center Victory, but I was going to say the comeback game was at Market Square Arena. So it's not the comeback game. Um, here we have another 89 and 90. And two more cards stuck together. That's a nice looking card. MJ in flight. And then 88, 89. So yeah, upper deck kind of went crazy on, you know, they had the Jordan rights. They could make more cards than anyone else. And man, they went kind of wild with it. So let's start with the hoops here. Um, looking for that starting five. Let's see what else we got here. Um, shout out. So those are, I should get one of those in this pack. Those are one in one packs. Pump up the jam. One in four packs. Rejectors numbered to 2,500. Freshman flashback. Prime twine. So I have owned one of those before. I used to have a, um, Eddie Jones. I got it in a dollar box. Uh, BAMs. Number to 250 in autographics. So, pretty nice pack here. Let's see. You know, yes, it was opened at the top. I think they're all bricked together. But, I don't think it's been actually tampered with. Let me try it. Yeah, I do see there's an insert in the middle of some sort, which is probably the shout-outs. I mentioned that was one per pack, so... We've got Big Z, Cedrunus Elgoskis. Oh, man. Yeah, those are sticking bad. Trying to think of the best way to go about doing this without just wrecking. It looks, looks like these first two cards are just going to get wrecked. So, sorry, Jock Vaughn. You're getting wrecked. Sticking. Bobby Phils underneath it. So yeah, some major sticking on these. Bobby Phil's rest in peace, by the way. Um, Antonio Daniels. So our insert... Oh, oh, okay. And no sticking, and it's the Jordan. So yeah, if, if it's going to be one per pack, hey, let's at least get Jordan. And it's the one spot of the pack that's not picking. He's protected by Randy Brown. How symbolic is that? 
Got to protect his guy. I love those black uniforms with the red pinstripes, which I don't see here, but I do see here. Randy Brown protecting his guy, although it is going to stick on the back some, so there is sticking on the back. But the front is clean. MJ shoutouts. Cool pull. Sharif, Anthony Mason, another rest in peace. Shouldn't be dead guys in these packs. Derek Anderson. Another Jordan. Um, and not a lot of sticking, but yeah, there's some sticking there. Not bad, though, compared to the other cards. Crunch, as you hear that. Um, Glenn Rice. Whew, Bob Sura. I opened a binder at work today that sounded like this. Which that was my sign that I didn't use that binder enough and I actually threw it away. Um, all right. Not a fun binder either. Not like card binder, just a like work binder. Okay. So noise boys, let's see if, you know, they're sticking in here. That's what we're looking for mainly. We've got bringing it. We've got boss, lift off, autographics, noise boys. The, your, the autographics are one in one twelve. I think, yeah, 1 in 112 is what it says. The Noise Boy is 1 in 300, so not likely. But now I didn't see, it must not be for the retail. I was going to say, I didn't see any odds for the uh, the Rave or the Super Rave. So that's, I'm assuming, is not this retail series. Little bit of sticking, not bad. Cool looking cards, though. Brian Shaw, Danny Manning, Detlef Shrimp. A little sticking, but not as visible. It really, actually, I'm not seeing it on the cards, which is nice. Todd Fuller. The Admiral. David Robinson. Shandon Anderson. Our back card is Hubert Davis. Do we have anything here? Horace Grant. Dropping dimes like Horace. All right. So there you have it. Um... You know, was it worth the cost? Yes. Yes, it was worth the cost to me to open these packs. Remember, this is experience cost. Um, also, nice to get the, the MJ pack here. So that was pretty nice. And our MJ shoutouts. One per pack, but get the best player. So thanks for watching. Um, I guess if I... Maybe I'll open those baseball later. Who knows? I'm not going to do it on the channel, though. New episodes every Thursday. Until next time.